what is going on guys so today i'm going to show you how to use norton anti-spam in outlook so what norton anti-spam does is it allows you to distinguish what is spam and what is not so you can add email addresses to an allowed list where you continuously get these emails and they don't go into your spam folder or you can add them to a blocked list no matter what they send you it goes directly to your spam folder so it's pretty cool and as you can see if you have norton installed on your computer Basically, you will see a tab up here on Outlook called uh, Norton. So you can just click here and you can open Norton Anti-Spam. And it'll just open Norton itself. This is like an extension now in uh, Outlook that just opens the app itself and brings you right to your allowed list and blocked list. So these are the two that you want to actually use. Um, address book exclusions. That's just used for when you remove something off your allowed list or blocked list, it just gets added there temporarily. And then there's some protected ports. I would say don't worry about that. Um, just worry about these two mainly. So let me just do one of these. Let me add one of these to my allowed list. Um, name, let's do Mongo DB team. And I want to do Mongo. Okay, so now these guys that just sent me an email last week have been added to my allowed list. So no matter what, these guys will show up in my inbox. Um, they won't get marked as spam no matter what they send me. Pretty cool feature because sometimes important stuff does go to the spam folder when you don't want it to, right? So just click apply when you're ready to go. And then once you're ready to exit the screen, just click okay. Um, you can also import um, a an email so you just click import and it'll import your address books into this right here um, might not work though as you can see it did not work for me maybe because I don't really have anybody on my address books in this Outlook account uh, it is a school account so maybe that's why but anyways um, going to the blocked list now so I'm gonna add someone to my blocked list I'm gonna add Heroku so let me just go back here um, add email and then I'm going to do no reply at mail.salesforce.com click OK click apply click OK and now no matter what these guys send me it will go directly to my spam folder so um, that's pretty cool um, you can also as you can see there's other options up here so when you're not in your spam folder like I'm in my inbox right now um, I can just mark things as spam so this is spam um, and then it'll it'll send you a prompt right here um, don't even worry about this um, and then click close okay and see when you click this is spam it'll actually give you a prompt to just add them to your blocked list now I have them on my approved list so I'm not gonna do that but that's also a cool way of how to do it so you can just mark things as spam in your inbox that you don't want to see um, don't send this email use this action for all misclassified emails close and now um, you can also add them to your blocked list pretty cool um, in your spam folder, let me just go to uh, my spam folder really quick. This is also my junk, I guess. It's a little confusing in Outlook, but yeah. So now you can see the option for this is not spam is open here. So now when I click here, let me uh, go on this guy. This is not spam. And then it'll, it'll ask if you want to add them to your allowed list now, which I just showed you earlier. So you can. And yeah, basically works opposite as it does on the inbox. Pretty cool feature. I do recommend using this. It helps you filter out what you get in your inbox. No more spam emails. Very helpful. So that's how you use it in Outlook. A bit of a longer video today, but hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Let's grow this channel. Let's go.